basic steps in cha cha. So where to start learning? So first of all, we have to learn ten chasses in cha cha. So what is chasse? Chasse is what we dance on the rhythm cha cha one. So this is called chasse. So as you know, the rhythm of cha cha is two three cha cha one or four and one. So on cha cha one, we're gonna do a very unique three step, and there is a ten kinds of it. If we learn these ten kinds, we can actually do many different movements. So let's go with the first chasse. It's called compact chasse, and it looks like this: cha cha one, cha cha one, or four and one, four and one. So all we do, we basically stay in place. There is a two ways you can do it. You can keep heels bows down. Or you can have a ball heel footwork. Either way is good. Using your rib kick, using your hip to produce that beautiful cha cha rhythm. Cha cha one, cha cha one. And the tips already here keep your inner thighs tight and use squeezing between your shoulder blade and hip, which create through the side that compressing look and guides your hip from forward side to the back creating the beautiful figure eight movement and we recommend keep arms slightly here so you stay almost in a frame as you're doing your compact chasse cha 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 and cha cha one so this is compact chasse okay so the next one is a side chasse in cha 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 so it looks like this we take three steps to the side cha cha one and let's do the same to the other side cha cha one so this is called side chasse so here again you can play with this how you dance it you can make a footwork ball heel ball then ball heel or if the music a little bit faster you can have footwork ball of the foot ball of the foot then ball heel either way is good just depend on your personal preference and the speed of the music. So let's do with the timing of cha cha. We have cha cha one. And the same other side, cha cha one. And already tips right here for you. So first is of course footwork, which I already mentioned now, body actions. So in order for this chasse to be alive, make sure you use a lot of rib cage and hip to guide your foot. And especially on the exit here on the way out, use the hip circle to place that opposite leg and then complete of course never stop here frozen complete with a melting feel on count one so go cha cha one cha cha one cha cha one so this is a side chasse in cha 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 so let's go to the next chasse so next one is going to be a forward lock step forward lock step it looks like this you're going forward Cha, then you have a lock in action, Latin cross position, cha, high ball of the foot, and here you go, one. So let's do it again. Forward lock, and cha, cha, one, and. The same, we're gonna go to the next shot, a backward lock. Similar idea, but we're moving back. Cha, cha, so you have Latin cross position, one. So let's demonstrate again, and cha, cha one our backward lock and forward lock let's do forward and backward lock together and cha cha one and we go backward cha cha one and so what are the tips we got for you so when you do that lock in action we have a latin cross position so it's very specific placement of your feet so you never want to have your feet turned in you want to have this foot maximum turned out heel is as far uh, as as high as far possible from the floor and here the knees are slightly soft but position is quite still picked up so this is latin cross that's why i call lock step another secret for you to understand every time we place our foot heel into always on the same line but when we cross you see our leg crossed so the last step here have to be slightly on the side in order to align your heel into the same line Okay, let's do the same for the backwards. So you have a cha, cha, and now from here, this leg, our back leg has to slightly go slightly on the side, slightly to get aligned with our beautiful feet, to have a beautiful 
leg and feet position. Now, the next secret here to mention is, of course, the usage of the rib cage and especially hip. So when we're going cha cha lock, the hip has to go back cha, doing like almost like you're doing a question mark. Cha, then it comes forward. Now from here, it's not recommended to do a big uh, hip circle here. Just let it, your hip bone travel on top of your foot and leave it there. And now from here, your hips coming more to the neutral position. So you can do again this question mark and finish with much more forward hip. So you go and cha, 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 and. Okay, for the backward, what tips we got for you? As you go back, the foot goes on the ball of the foot. And you want immediately elevate, lift that hip. So you think compression of your body. Here, cha, before you're going to lock it. Cha, and then you bring this hip, bring this leg in from above the knee here in this position. And now here you will have a little bit sense of small circle to place that foot and leg backward in a quite flat position. So we have a chance to proceed with our next movement. So let's see it again. Forward lock and backward locks with the tips. Cha, 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 and cha, 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 and. Okay, so let's move with the other set of chasse. So the next one is going to be a rande chasse. So it looks like this. So we're doing a check forward walk. We replace backward. And then here we have a slight rande through that elevation of the hip. And we have cha. Then we collect feet together. Cha, two ball of the feet. And are using that hip to replace our weight to the side. We're going two, three. Cha, cha, one. So this is a round de chasse. Why it's called round de chasse? Because as we're moving back, instead of taking our leg back, like an uh, lock step, we have a little bit body squeeze, which creates that nice round And then here you have that Latin cross position. Then you have closing leg with a slight diagonal feel. And here use that hip and leg to get out on the side. And then of course, don't freeze here. Keep melting. So let's do it again. Run the chasse. Two, three, cha, cha, one, and. Okay, so the next set of chasse is going to uh, called hip twist chasse. So how to do hip twist chasse? So we start, of course, with the rocking action back. Two, replace four, three. Now from here, we're going to have strong hip twist with the 90 degree leg with a beautiful position. Cha. But here, I recommend to put one heel down, one ball of the foot. And from here, we get out on the side, one. So it looks like this, two and three, cha, cha, one, and. Let's try again, and, and, two and three, cha, cha, one, and. So what tips we got for you? So number one tip, anytime you're doing rock back, make sure you rock your body strongly forward to place that leg backward, right? So don't go with your body back. But when you're going forward, of course, to send your body there is gonna be a great idea. So for the right in action, send your body slightly forward, two and three. Now from here, for the hip twist, there's a few things we can mention, but number one is a counter body twist in the body. So start turning with your body in tension, with your shoulders to my left. And now when this hip twist is happening, Switch your shoulders to the opposite direction as soon as you can. So create that beautiful look. So we're never here. We're always like this. So you're going and two, three, cha, cha, wa, na. Now, and the next secret is always at the end of cha, cha, one, never stay high on one, one and. Always melt into the movement, cha, one and. Have a little bit life here. It has to be alive. So when you practice, try not to stop, but try to sponge like a sponge bob. Very good. Okay, so the next one, chasse, is gonna be slip chasse. So we'll show you slightly diagonally so you can see it. So it looks like this. You drift your body forward, you send your hip back, no heel down, you just bring your foot under, and then you change weight. So it looks like this. And a cha, cha, one, and again, and uh, cha, cha, one, and. Let's do on the other side. 
looks like this and cha cha one and what uh, tips we got for you here when you do slip shasa of course anytime you move back drift your body forward to counterbalance that backward leg movement otherwise we'll have this situation which is not very recommended you will not feel too comfortable doing this so drift your body then send your hip back cha now from here as you bring your foot under do not bend this, bend this knee keep your heel as close to the floor as possible that's why it's called sleep and then from here you replace one and and the last secret when you get that one on and always have a little bit life so don't freeze get that cuban motion going so that was a sleep chasse okay the next chasse we're gonna do it's called progressive chasse so it's very much look like a lock step forward but we're not gonna cross our legs we're gonna close them without putting heel down so it looks like this you go rock and action back two three and here feeling because it's a progressive like we almost run cha then we have closing of the leg cha and from here send ourselves forward one so progressive chasse and two three cha cha one and so the the secret is here as you step you keep ball of the foot only ball of the foot and similarly like in like step you're gonna push out from that foot okay and last but not the least is gonna be run chasse so run chasse in cha cha looks like this you're going back rock step two three and now you're gonna have slight variation of the hip twist 90 degree cha cha one and so let's try it again run chasse and two three cha cha one and the biggest secret we got for you here is not to run but actually hip twist as much as possible similar way as we did in our hip twist chasse with a strong counter body movement and beautiful 90 degree leg so let's try that two three and try to twist 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 one so we can call it a twist chasse as well as a running chasse so learn study the steps and see you in the next lesson